What's up guys and welcome back, Pope John Paul here with another episode of our French campaign in the 1100 AD mod for Rome 2. And uh, it's, yes, it's been a little while since uh, an episode or a video has come out, I apologise for that, I've been away, um, just seeing family and stuff like that, and uh, I just took a bit of a break, I just needed a bit of a break, um, and now hopefully we can uh, come back and we can make some progress on this campaign. We have Bordeaux and the Duchy Aquitaine left to take um, in the south and then we have basically cemented this area here and we basically have this entire, actually no, yeah we have this entire region, Aquitania. Then we will go for Marseille or Marseillaise or how are you supposed to say it in French. Um, and they don't look like they're in great shape. I think they've they were starving at one point, but I don't think they are now. And they don't seem to have an army, so we could just go straight out and siege it. And then we plan to go against the Holy Roman Empire. That is going to be the main test, and we will have to build up quite a few armies, probably, uh, before we do that. But, um, yeah, so we'll quickly have a look around and see if there's anything we can do, anything we can recruit. I could get some mercenary spears. I have a lot of money that's about to come in. So it is tempting, but um, I think I'm just going to recruit like the normal sort of militias, not militia, but you know, like the normal French troops. So we've got herding grounds we can get, so we can five food, but minus uh, public order and a hundred in livestock, or seven and three, and I'm going to go with the herding because I'm okay for food, but I could do with a bit more economy. So we'll do that, and then we will. I think we're out. Of, well, we're out of money. I'll quickly look on diplomacy. I think there's no one new we can see. I mean, we've now got an alliance, if you haven't seen in the last episode, with Valencia. She might... Oh, she nearly took a military alliance. That would have been kind of mean handy, but also probably not. They're at war with... Everyone seems to be at war with Aragon, so it seems they would actually seem to be a decent, like, faction to go for. Um, I don't. The Pisa possibly I would want to listen, trade with because they'd be quite handy, but it doesn't look like anyone wants any. And we're just neutral apparently in the Holy Roman Empire. Excellent. So I'm going to end the turn and we will see what happens in the end turn. So I hope you guys are having good days. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, and work and stuff's not being too hard. Why are they attacking me? I'm gonna auto resolve this because I don't think I could get better than 67 myself. Why are that why are they attacking me? I'm gonna just do close victory. That was really bizarre. And I lose one light cavalry. That was bizarre. I'm yeah, that's early on. So yeah I hope work and school and whatever else is not being too hard on you and Everything is going well, uh, and yeah, I hope you're all enjoying um, the channel and the vids, and I would like to say thank you very much for getting to 500 subs, um, and we're still growing, and thank you very much for all the subs and the likes and stuff like that, it's all very good, it's good to see the channel growing. Um, a child is born, I'm not even going to, Elfric or whatever, He's a, I presume that's a boy, household expands, uh, and Narbonensis is an encouraged population, we've got an issue. Uh, raid a trade route belonging. Um, well, I'm probably just going to take their land, to be honest. It's probably easier. Um, I'm going to hire these two heavy cavalry. Um, that does bring me down a lot of money, but uh, it also replaces the light cavalry I've just lost. And I'm going to attack the smaller army here. Um, I'm just going to auto resolve this. This can be a 93. Kill him. Excellent. I might bring up this other army, the king's army. Um, to basically help support the siege because I don't think the Grand Army is anywhere near ready. No, it is not. It is nowhere near ready. Um, it could do with some cavalry as well, probably. Um, I'm going to... I could... What's actually better? Attacking this, 45, or attacking you? 58. What about the other one? Oh! I want to attack this one because this one's the highest chance of success. I need to just level her up so I can get assassination because she's taking forever to assass to get assassination. She's nearly there. Come on. I think I need to get a level six, so two more levels. That's not too bad. It's doable. 
Um, Toulouse is looking a lot more happy, which is good. I'm going to go with Grain Mill because that's the first one you go for because I need that replenishment. I will take these Mercenary Infantry, hire them up. Um, I will move on Bordeaux as well. You can't have... well, we don't have money anymore to hire anything else. Um, I'm going to just keep you building stuff. You can just be a building army. Um, cavalry, three turns, and archers. That'll take two turns. That's fine. We can deal with that. Um, and I'm just going to end the turn again. We are on losing a lot of money, but, well, we're down to about 4,000 a turn. What were the Almoravids? You're all the Almoravids. How big are they? Oh, they're quite big, and I don't really want to have a war in Spain. I'm sorry, um, Valencia. That's what your name is. You're just not worth it. I could attack that fort outside there that they've just made, and then force them to come to battle. I got a triumph in Rome, apparently. Louis got a conqueror thing, so that's good. This one's... Oh, no, this one's... You're Louis over here, and you got Conqueror. You're not even doing anything, man. Oh, no. I've, um, no, I, I do want that. Sorry. I'm just going to look at my... I could hire politicians. Huh. That's quite, that's quite cool. Um, yeah, I'm not really too worried about this. Risk is very low. Um, I'd like to marry some people off, though. Um, seek a spouse. Go and find a spouse. There you go. Doris. And he's got a, a wife. Or something. Um, what's this? I could adopt him. Adopt a part of... Oh. No, he, he can adopt people. I don't want to do that, really. Declare heir. We have an heir. Oh, here we go. This is the guy. And then Haraldir here. Well, Captain. Forward hold your ranks. Yeah, have that. Uh, replenishment, possibly. Wealth. Armor could be kind of useful. I think I'm going to go with armor. Could do with a bit of extra armor, I'm pretty sure. Um, has everyone else got skills added? Mercury Command, Chief Overseer. Yeah, I think so. Oh, he's got... A bit of claret. Ooh. Enjoys the sight of blood. Particularly enemy blood. Oh. What a what a cool guy. Or oh, what a freakish guy more like actually. He's not cool at all. Oh, and we've already we just the money has gone down. Right, how much do you have? Twenty. And I have just about that, so I might attack you. Let's get you within range. Let's get you to there. Um, if I was to stop recruiting and then force march, I can only get to here. I don't really want to wait. I don't really want to waste another turn in like a, not attacking them I, because they're just they're getting stronger and we're not. Um, I do kind of want these Frankish archers though. though they don't really do much. I'm going to stick with the light archers, actually. Um, and there was, heavy, there was light cavalry I was getting. Um, I could get more, but I don't really want more. I'd like more long axes. Please. I think. Could I get more? Oh, I could. But there'd be three turns. Nope, we don't want that. We've got loads of food, though. 41 food surplus. Well, we're not going to starve anytime soon. And mains. Oh, you can get a marketplace. Um, let's get a... Um... I don't need food anymore. I'm gonna go for. Don't really want that one. What's wine trader gonna do? Wine trader, wine trader here, and it does. Okay, yeah, we'll go for wine trader. It gets me a lot of money. Lots. It gets me eighty this turn. Then it goes to two sixty. Then four twenty. So we'll get uh, all of that money in, and then oh, you can't do anything because effort um, and apparently this is not in our favor at all heavy spears this garrison army is really good they've got they've only got one cavalry and I've got quite a few 
He says, we're, we're only slightly outnumbered as well. Is it because, I wonder if because they're in a fort? Apparently we don't have much of a chance. So they, we're going to have 2,300. They're going to have about 600 extra men. Most of which are made up of light spears. There's a lot of Frankish spears. I'm not sure I want to fight this one just yet. I know I said I was going to fight it because we don't want to waste time, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know if I can. I'm going to wait on this army. The Grand Army is going to appear at the end of this turn. I'm going to recruit a load of mercenaries here, um, which are all very expensive. So we may wait till next turn and see what the economy is looking like. Um... But we have money now freed up to spend. Oh, I'm going to get... Oh, I don't know. Auxiliary spears, pikes. I'm just going to get a temporary barracks, I think. Because I would like to get the Frankish spears. Because they're fairly good. They're fairly good at what they do. Uh, no, I'm not joining your war against those Muslims in Spain. Because... Ah, now it's the one outside. Excellent. That's, that's a better thing. And he's recruiting... I might attack that. Engineering's done as well. That's good. So now we can build uh, a workshop. So we can probably start getting some siege equipment, which I'd like. I'd like some catapults and other things like that. Right, let's have a look. Oh, we've not even done philosophy. And this is going to do scholarship, which brings in a library. I think I will do that. We might as well get a library going. Or the technology to get libraries. Um, Spy has gained a trait. 5% chance of success in all actions. Excellent. That's very useful. Um, that is very useful. What else you got? Nice. 5% chance of success in actions against enemy agents and generals. Wow. She's just very good now. There's 50% chance of success on this guy. Um, yeah, let's go for it. An excellent choice. William the Fourth Trevdour, whatever his name is. I'm pretty sure we fought him already. Oh, leveled up. Excellent. I was expecting that. Um, right. I was expecting some success, finally. Right. This is... One of these down here allows uh, assassination. I can't remember which one. Uh... One of these, I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, this one here. Their rank is too low, obviously. So I've got to wait one more. A bit strange. And a spy, and I'm not allowed to assassinate anyone straight off. Um, the bat is a bit annoying, to be honest. I'm going to go with... Yeah. I'm going to go with coordinator. Just get like more uh, movement speed if it's in an, if she's in an army. Um, I could recruit a load of stuff, a load of guys. Ready for battle. You can get as close as there then. This order. You can follow that one though. 150 these guys are going to cost now. Get another mercenary warrior. And then you attack him. Still not looking good. Personally I think this is a better chance. I think there's a decent chance we can win this. So we will fight it and we will see what happens. So I'll see you guys on the battlefield for that, uh, for this clash of uh, armies. Okay, so we are back on the battlefield and we are ready to go. And the plan is to overwhelm them with all these cavalry that we've got um, compared to theirs. And the reinforcements have arrived, so that is excellent. They are arriving from the flank here. So we will push them up to probably like here. Can you just all come on? And then we'll just... Um, so we... Uh, they're a high threat, so we might not be able to reach them. Um, okay, so if we can cut off this army and kill... Actually, no. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I like this. There's a lot of uh, unknowns in this forest. Okay. Oh, we've got Philip. Ah, oh, perfect. You go after him. Um, and all of them just come up here, please. I need you up here, like, ASAP. Uh, 
these guys. Oh, they're about to run into a load of infantry, which you do not want to do. Get out. Get out. Actually, run down these guys. Perfect. Mm, they're getting... Oh, actually, no. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. You're getting very much isolated from the rest of the army. Yep, yeah, we do not want that to happen. Get out of there. For Macadon. Oh, apparently we're, we're, we're Macadon now. I'm just trying to assassinate this general. And uh, it may or may not be successful. Who knows. Um, but, I mean, the AI is still wanting to chase with these guys. We'll chase. We'll allow them to come and kill us. Um, well, try and kill us anyway. Um, I think we'll win this. Surely we'll win that. Uh, oh, you're not going to keep running away, are you? Um, I Also, oh, actually no, just hold your fire, hold your fire. I don't really want you to keep firing on them. Um, who's this? This is Philip the First. He's just chasing down him. That can just carry on for a little bit. Um, light cavalry over here. Who have we got here? We've got a lot of auxiliary swords. We are on the offensive, so I imagine we are, I guess, going to have to attack at some point. We broke those riders with spears. That's perfect. Um, we'll put these archers up about here. Um, you also go to about there. You go to about there. Spears, I'd like you out on this side. Um, what else have we got? We've got a lot of stuff that we still need to kind of just dish out. Um, I'll go to like the here with these guys. Got those swords going places now. Those archers are doing stuff. We've got more swords here. Um, yeah, you're not chasing down anyone anymore. I did worry. Um, you pull back. I don't know why you're still going that far up. Um, where's my general? Is he just... He's still trying to chase down this blooming idiot. So they basically made one huge army, which I didn't really want them to do, but they've done. Get out of there, you idiots. You're taking so many casualties for unnecessary reasons. That is... Erkenbold is a general. He could be handy to take out. But I mean, the balance power is not too far out of favour. We are going to get a charge off them this king, though. Excellent. Cavalry. Probably should have done like a cavalry chest judo. I don't know if that's actually effective. Oh no, it just can't move. Okay. That's just not useful. We didn't want to do that at all. Um, we should be able to take this guy out. Heavy cavalry with spears against heavy cavalry. Should be able to take him out. Um, Mercery cavalry. Not doing so well. Not doing so um, too fresh. Um, I'm going to put these light coverages in the woods. See if we can use them to hide. Um, and just try and get some cheeky charges off and some archers. We'll eventually move up the entire line in a minute. But we will... Uh, we're going to just chase down this king first. Or duke or whatever he is. I don't know. what. It, uh, I guess it's duchy, so it's a duke. The duke. And he's running away. I think this is like the first... First, or, no, certainly the second time we've like been uh, had a fight with him. I think in the last episode he was the ones that ambushed my second army. Now he's gonna die. Come on, boys, kill him. Then we get a load of some of these units will then be shaken because their king is dead or duke is dead. They're just making a nice long line though. Nice long line. I mean. Are these all Frankish spears, light spearmen, peasant militia, lots of weaker tier units. We need to focus down his archers and his pikes. And still not broken, still not actually killed the general either. He must be one of these last three. I'm trying to get a good view. Get a good view of the chase. That's going on the epic chase. Yeah, he's got to be one of these, surely. Well, we'll break him anyway. Perfect, we got him. They've got to die now. There's so many. There's my king doing his bit with a spear. Don't know why he would have that. It's not a very kingly weapon. Get him an axe or a sword. But he lost two units, so. Um, anyway, let's move that, the entire... Oh, they're not quite all in, in formation yet. Also, these archers just well out of formation. Um, put them like so. Oh, there we go. The enemy general is dead. 
So he didn't look very dukey anyway. Um, you go like so, you go like so. Um, you come back to here, please. Are they going to move forward now that... I wonder. And they're boxing themselves in, in a nice little corner for me to just try and prize them out of. They're active. Um, can you just go back like so? I've got my own pikes now that can do some damage, but they are a bit battered. Actually, they're quite battered. They're just above half health. Or half strength, not half health. Um, okay, here they come. They look like they're going to move out. Uh, heavy heavy spearmen are definitely ones I'm going to have to focus down. Um, probably with infantry. I've overwhelmed them in the past few battles um, with infantry just around them and they just seem to break just as quickly. Even with uh, cheaper tier units. So let's move all of these guys forward to about here. Now we'll have to force them to come to battle. How many archers have they got? Oh, they've got light skirmishes. They're not even archers. Um, so that's even better. If we can break them, and what are these? Oh, these are the Urken Bolds Frankish Heavy Cavalry. And he's got one pike unit in the back that I can see. I think that's it. And it's fresh. In strength and in... And in energy. They look really cool. I do like them. You shouldn't be talking in English. You should be talking in, I don't know, Gascon or French or whatever they speak in. Oh, more archers. Oh, these are actually archers. Not skirmishes. Okay, right. So, I think the plan is, with these two units of cavalry, we will peel around the side here. I'm giving up on the whole... They're not going to come into the forest or deep enough in to make us an ambush effective. So I'm going to put them on the far extreme left and we're going to try and wait for an opportunity to get after some archers. I mean, these light skirmishes might... No, they're not. They look like they were going to try and test uh, test my uh, my um, king and his light cavalry. We've got some it's a few dead already on the battlefield. How much... Oh, you are in range, actually. They might come for us now. Good. Been ready for a fight. Uh, I really should give my cavalry more room. I'll put them here. Gives them a little bit more room. These cavalry, they're not going to get isolated, are they? Ooh, they might do. They might do. I'm going to pull them back because, though, I say that. I say that. They're just leaving. I might be able to actually just catch this general out unawares. Yeah, they are coming in now. And they've got a lot of stuff that can go around the flanks. Don't really want to engage this load of infantry. I'm going to put the king over on this... F uh, well, not the king, but the general out on here. Out here. Um, cavalry, go down here. Perfect. You better have skirmish mode on archers, because I'm not uh, confident. Um, right, let's just peel you around like so. We've got extra units we don't really need here. Okay, archers, you're supposed to have run. There seems like a lack of running going on. Yeah, because they were idiots and didn't run. And you did, you had skirmish mode on, you fools. Right, run these guys down. Um, run him down. Come over here. I need. To, I've got to do a lot of microing now, because they're being idiots. Um, pikes, go in there. Support this attack. One of our units has gone berserk. Good. Well, hopefully we can cause some more berserks. Um, focus them down. I've got more archers out here, which I don't even know about. Um, bring them over here. Just help support these guys out. Um, are you going to break these guys in time? No, not in time before these. They've turned around. The peasant militia, okay. That was brave. Oh, and we're winning the fight though here mainly. Um, brilliant. Right, so you go over there. You go over here. Yeah, we need a lot more stuff on this far side though. 
Um, you going in there back there. Perfect. Right, well, yeah, we need a lot more stuff here. And you focus down a lot of your stuff here. Archers, I just need you to focus down over here. Um, peasant militia finally making a move coming in here. 55. I think we can deal with these guys. I think we can deal with the peasant militia and... Oh, we have broken so many of these guys. Excellent. Oh, brilliant. That is perfect. We might lose the right. I say... As I say this, I don't know. We are starting to slowly break them on this flank. But we are losing a lot of... A lot of key units. I think we just lost that light cavalry. We did just lose that light cavalry. Peasant militia left. The general has escaped. Of course he has. Right. Go over here. You need to go in the back of those units. You should just be able to run these guys down, I would have thought, in one swoop. Um, can you focus the general down, perhaps? Yeah, we have turned this battle around, though. Excellent. I am so pleased with these boys. These veteran men. They are slowly becoming. Inspire yourselves. But there's such a huge amount of units here. We need to start getting guys used to chase them down. Continue. Um, all archers just hold fire. The enemy general is dead. Excellent. Right. Well, all hold your fire because there is a lot of friendly fire probably going on now. Um, run all these guys down. Stop! I said hold fire. Hold fire, you fools. Right. Um, cut these guys down, please. Oh, no. Kill them. Yeah. And you kill them as well. Or no, kill them. One or the other. Just kill someone. Um, actually, Archer, shoot them if you want. Oh. I don't know. Just kill something. Uh, let's speed this up quickly. Because we don't need to see this. Run. Stuff to the edge. I want to kill as much of this as possible. Because I don't want to have to deal with it in a siege. In a little bit. Frank Spears. Kill these. Perfect. I think we've probably got most of them. Kill these peasant militia off. They're not the worst unit to be facing in a siege. Yep, we'll call it a day there and we will end the battle. That was a decisive victory. It did seem quite decisive. Only 500 losses. It's their 2,000 losses. The difference in forces was insane. Our cavalry did very well, getting about 500 kills there. And that one getting 300. Archers doing okay. Light cavalry doing pretty awful. Um, I'm probably going to start phasing them out of my armies and trying to get heavier cavalry when I can because they don't seem to be doing a great job. My general's getting over 100 kills. Axe is doing well. 300 kills here. And these ones doing okay. Um, I think they were kind of more like on the flanks and didn't really get until late in the battle. But these ones did insane. Um, yeah, that was very, very good. Well done, army. So I will see you guys back on the campaign map. Um... And we will make our move towards Bordeaux. So here we are. Victory is ours. And we've killed... There you see he's keeling over dying. And we only lost the Frankish Light Cavalry in that army. And that is it. Everything else is doing very well. These guys are so chevroned up now. Doing excellent. King's army uh, leveled up. Everything's looking good. What is the condition of the garrison? Not great. So I'm going to... Um, siege it down with this army, the army of the south. We will just continue the siege. The king's army can go and kill these off. We will get a 98 there. Go on, Philip. you got to kill him. Kill them all. Yeah, straight to the face. So, we've now invested in the siege. And this shouldn't take too long. We will just... Uh, we could assault it, but um, I'm going to leave. We'll do an assault of a really good settlement. Uh, we'll leave that for a, an episode. Also, I just hate sieges. Oh, we lost a lot of long axes and we lost all our cavalry. Not great. There were some really 
good chevroned up long axes as well. I'm going to occupy. I don't want to subjugate. Faction destroyed. There we go. Um, I'm going to move you out because that actually improves the happiness. Um, we have a lot of... Well, perfect, because I did want to make this a military base. Um, I could make a workshop, get some blister on the go, and some scorpions. Okay. Um, or I could do... What's the happiness like here when it's... Is it just because of conquest? It is. So it'll be plus 15. So I could just put in... Uh, my money is in extremely good. Um, I'm going to put in a workshop. Just make this a really, well, good spot then. Um, I'm going to put maybe breading games in. I could just put tax harvesting in, but I don't really want to. I'm going to put breading games in. Food's always handy. Um... And happiness is always good as well. They always handy to have. Um, missile damage, yes, please. We'll have missile damage. Um, you can recruit a load of stuff if you wanted to. But I'd rather have you recruit stuff for the army of the south. The army of the south has so much stuff in that in that war. It's gonna need a bit of time to replenish before we go after Marseille. Um, uh, um, you've got everything in philosopher at the moment. Put something in commander, I guess. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with defense and 10% extra morale for um, defensive battles. That's kind of handy. And we, we have quite a few defensive battles in our time. Um, I'm going to build a load of Frankish spears. Not, well, a load. Two. Um, for the Army of the South. Um, King's Army can't really do a lot. Upgrade you, I guess. Can't really hire anything either. We could move them on. Uh, they can't really go far. I'll move them to Toulouse. This army, the Grand Army, is uh, almost ready. I'll move this down. I'm going to force march it. Um, so it can get to here. So it'll get to here in about three turns. Let's put it outside Narbonne. And that can be the army that will lead the assault on Marseille. I'm going to send the army of the south can stay here and recruit. I might send the king's army. Actually, yeah, I'll send the king's army to Paris. And that can be the first army that gets ready to uh, attack the Holy Roman Empire, which will be Lyon, uh, Dijon, Troyes, and Bruges will be our uh, invasion spots. I'm not really sure where I'll go for first. Maybe Lyon? I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll end the turn and we'll see what happens. Valencia wanting more stuff. I wonder if we'll eventually get to see like the Byzantines and stuff like that. I doubt it. But um, no, I'm not joining your war. Maybe later. I have now just gone to uh, now at peace, but I need a bit of time to, for these armies to replenish and also replace some units because certainly light cavalry they are not good. They are not good. Um, Paris, Frankish swordsmen. <gasps> yes, we want Frankish swordsmen. What are this? Riders with spears. They're better than what I currently have, so I will get that. So it's all my money basically spent. Blensy and Kingdom of Aragon at war. So they so they weren't at war, but they wanted me to join a war, and Aquitaine's now got an edict, and we've got a workshop now in Bordeaux. Excellent. So let's see. What can what how much does scorpions cost then? Oh well, they don't cost too much. The scorpions and blisters. But if I had the money. Um, well, upkeep, they don't cost too much. They cost a 1,000 to recruit, which is very expensive. Um, King's Army, go back up here, please. And the Grand Army. Oh. Oh, Pisa. Are you coming to fight Marseille? Surely not. No, they're at war with Bulgaria, the Kingdom of Georgia, and the... Uh, Byzantines. That took a lot of time to think. They're they're in alliance with Papal States and Duchy of Apulia and Calabria. Well, that's fine. I'm not really wanting to uh, deal with them yet, anyway. So, or even go after them. That's possibly might not even bother. Um, could get mercenaries, but they're all very expensive. My spy can come over here though, and we can she can start looking and seeing if there's any armies of Marseilles around here. It's so. It, so profitable, 2,000. 
Excellent. No, nothing yet. Nothing yet. Um, our mains is getting wine trader. No, we'll end the turn. Just keep ending the turn. Ooh, we can see a lot more stuff now. I think we could already see Augsburg and Frankfurt. We can see Konstanz. Uh, I think that's Wettenberg. I'm not really sure. I think they're one of the princes under the Holy Roman Empire. I'm not sure if they are actually a uh, puppet or if they are... But they, that's what they are historically. They are a... War declared. There we go. Pisa in Provence. They just did it. Just there and then. I'm going to go in and siege it first, I think. Um, oh, they had a battle and lost. They tried to siege it out, I think. I don't think Marseille's actually got an army. I don't think it has an army. No, I don't think it does. And yeah, Pisa lost that battle or that siege very, very quickly. And if, wow. Well, let's just build... I want to build... I don't know if these... They have fire power and mobility. Plus, what does it say? Have small carts and these... Mounted on small carts. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to get a ballista and I'm going to get more Frankish spears. Oh, we can get a lot. Wow. Um, I'll certainly get them to start with. How far can you... You can get here the King's Army and then I'll get you to recruit some stuff as well. Probably some Frankish spears of your own. The yours cost more. Strangely. Um, as to your axes. Your axes cost a lot. I'll get some Frankish spears and we'll just see what happens with them. For now. Um... Yeah, why do yours cost so much less then? You don't have heavy axes to look at either. Pikes actually cost very little. They could be the way to go. Hundred, They might actually be the way to go. Instead of long axes. If just go down the spear route. Maybe. We'll see. That is always a potential route to go down as well. Let me get guys know. Let me, let me know guys in the comments whether you'd rather me go for like load of spears, um, play like defensively, which is a, a tactic to play, and then you cavalry to like uh, hammer and anvil, a bit like the Macedonians, or you'd rather get swords. I'd like to try the swords out, I'd like to get some decent sword units uh, myself, but yeah, it's up to you guys as well. Oh, these, their pikes are very strange, like curves blades, they're quite cool. So I'll end the turn, and we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully, we can uh, attack Marseille this turn. Well, uh, we'll certainly start the siege because we are probably coming to the end of the episode anyway. Freeze! Oh, did Freeze and die? Freeze and died, didn't it? To the Hurrian Empire? Yeah, yeah, they didn't last long. They've got a huge army there. So yeah, we are. Get, they are running out of people to attack our uh, our Hurrian Empire. So they're probably going to come for us soon. But I'll certainly join my war against Provence. That's what they're called, not Marseille. They're called Provence. Um, I'm going to siege them out. Apparently, I... Oh, 137 men would help me. Wow. Um, I'll get that for now. And you're going to take a turn. You're going to take a turn. I'd rather build some more stuff. Maybe an open-air market. That would be kind of ha handy. We'll build one of them. Our mains could build nothing. <laughs> Aquitaine can build... I think. And um, we can't build anything here, so we could build more stuff in Paris if we want to. Actually, no, we can't. We could just recruit some more troops. The King's Army could do some more troops, I guess. Um, I'm going to get these some pikes for this army, because I think pikes anyway are just handy to have. Um, and we can't just do anything there. So I'm going to send you up to look at Lyon, then, instead. Wow, we assault. This can't just be 137 men, surely. No, that'll be more than that. I would have thought. Is it this army? Oh, it's this army that's, I think, able to help. That's just stupid. Give me your bigger armies, Pisa. And we can do some damage. I mean, I'm not really sure how Pisa's got Genoa and Milan as well. don't think they had them originally. Who knows? Anyway, I am probably going to wrap up the episode here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And, um... Until next time, bye for now.